All right, time to uh, water the quail, and I've got something kind of cool to show you about when it comes to watering quail in the winter time. Let's go do it. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name is Chris, and if you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. Like I said, today we're going to be talking about a winter watering solution for your quail that doesn't freeze up. Now, I've always been skeptical of these things because people have talked about them before and asked me about, you know, using heated waters for your rabbits or for your quail. I've always said I never found the solution for that. I never thought it would work, um, mostly because, you know, especially with the rabbits, uh, you know, I use a gravity-fed watering system, which you can't really see right now, but it has hoses that come out of it that feed to the uh, water cups that are in the back of the, the quail hutch, which, again, you can't see right now. But even if you're circulating hot water, if you heated that water uh, in the bucket and circulated it through, it's not going to keep the, the nipples or the, the water cup itself from freezing up when it gets really, really cold. But my wife actually found a solution, bought a couple of them. I probably wouldn't have bought them because I'm skeptical that it's going to work. But she bought them, I tested them out, and they actually work. They keep the water from freezing. So let me open this up. We'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Get the birds back. Come on, guys. They're all drinking water right now. They need to, need to fill up. So I thought it'd be a good time to get this out of here and show you how it works. A little tricky to get in and out. All right, I'm going to hold this door closed so I don't have to lose any quail while I'm doing this. But this is the Farm Innovations two gallon poultry drinker with drip free side mount nipples. That's what it's called. So it's got these, uh, you know, side mount nipples that they just hit and the water comes right out of. Easy enough, but it's got a plug in, you know, plugs into an electric outlet uh, base to it that is thermostat controlled. So it keeps, it doesn't keep the water really warm, but it's thermostat controlled. So when the water, when the temperature of the water gets down below 35 degrees, this kicks on and warms it up to 35 degrees. Keeps it just above freezing. And so far it's worked great. It's a pretty simple setup. It's two gallons. So the lid just comes off, you fill it up. It does need to be protected from the wind. It will not work when you have it out in the open in the wind. Uh, these will freeze up in the wind because it's just too much heat being taken away from the, the container, which makes sense. But it works great when it's stored inside a, a, you know, a, wind, a protected area. You can either hang it up or, or set it down. I've just got it sitting in the sandbox in here. Let me put it back in here and get it filled up with water. We'll bring you in close and show you kind of what it looks like filled up. All right, so you can see how it sits in here. I've got it turned to where I've got, it's got three nipples on it, one on this side, one on that side, one on the other side. So I've got it kind of backed away from the wall, turned a little bit so the birds can get to it pretty easily. And I just bring water out when it needs it. And just fill it up. That's all there is to it. Pretty straightforward, stick the lid back on it so it doesn't get a bunch of nasty new debris inside. And uh, the birds go to it and drink it. And I don't know if you can see the one back here in the back, but let me move the camera a little bit, maybe you can see it. They don't seem to be wanting to come outside right now. All right, it's kind of dark in there, but hopefully you can see that. You can see that bird has figured it out, I mean, both of them. Uh, they're drinking from the water, no problems. And so far, it's worked pretty well. All right, now today's pretty warm. I don't need this automatic watering system. It's still all plugged in. You can see I've got the wires all tied up to the top of the cage, so I don't have to worry about the birds getting into it or, or water getting into it or anything like that. Uh, so I've got a, you know, a splitter inside here. My main extension, well, actually it's on the other one. My main extension cords runs into the other quail hutch. Uh, I, I plug it into a splitter, which I plug one into and then run another extension cord over to this hutch. And then uh, I tied all the wires up on the top. So I've got one in each hutch right now. And, and again, today I don't need them because it's like 45 degrees out right now. It's gonna be mid high 50s. It's, it feels like spring, it's really nice. Uh, but last week we had temperatures down 
pretty cold. Um, I think the, the lowest we got in the middle of the night was like around 12 degrees Fahrenheit, somewhere right around in there. And uh, it never got above freezing for the day, but these waters stayed unfrozen and water continued to flow from them. The birds were able to drink from it. So I, that's a real big time saver for me. I don't have to come out multiple times a day, knock ice out of bowls, fill them back up. It's just way more convenient. I'm kind of surprised it works. Um, honestly, I would have thought those little nipples would have frozen. and I think if you were to set it out here in the open where the wind can blow on it, they would freeze up. But protected inside this section of my hutch where they're protected from the wind, they work great. So I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm glad to say that I was wrong, that there wasn't a solution for that because there obviously is. So now I'll put a link to these in my um, Amazon store. Uh, my link to the Amazon store is down below, so you can go there and you can see you know, what they are. You can buy them from there if you want to. I do earn a little bit of a commission from that if you buy from that link. If that bothers you, just go look them up on your own. I gave you the name. You can find them, you can buy them on your own. You don't have to buy them through my link. But anyway, um, it's great. It's great. I don't have to bring water out a couple of times a day to these guys. That two gallon water, um, I've, got, I've got 35 birds, I think, in this hutch right here. And that two gallon water will last them two days, three days before I need to, and it doesn't even get empty. It's just halfway down in about two to three days. And then I add another gallon of water to it, fill it back up to the top. So I only have to bring water out about every other day or so uh, between the two hutches. One gallon of water every other day, bring it out, fill up one of the, uh, the uh, water buckets while I'm out here feeding. And then the next day when I come out to feed in the morning, fill up the other water bucket. And they're usually good to go for a couple of days. Um, I don't even have to worry about it. So it's, it's way more convenient than having to bring water out a couple of times a day. It works really, really well. I'm really surprised. And you probably can't hear this, but I can hear the birds hitting those little water nipples right now. They're, they're in there getting themselves a drink. Um, and it wasn't empty, so uh, they, they've had access to water all night long, all day long, and they just uh, feel like getting a drink right now. Uh, as far as training the birds to that, switching them over from drinking from a bowl or the water cups to that, it was super easy. Just took all their other water away, put that in there, they figured it out. I kind of hit the, hit the button so there was a little bit of water dripping out of it, or dripped out of it for a second. The birds kind of figured that out. Once one of them figured out, the other ones followed suit and just followed right behind them. It was no problem at all. It was super simple, really easy to do. So something I highly suggest, if you live in a cold climate where it gets pretty cold and gets below freezing, you know, invest in one of these automatic or one of these heated waters for your birds and it'll work really well. Now, I still don't have a good solution for the rabbits because you couldn't put one of these in a rabbit cage. The rabbits are gonna chew up on the plastic and all. It's just not a good solution for your rabbits. If you had a solution where it was um, somehow outside of the hutch, but connected to the bucket, I think that's what makes these work is those nipples are right on the side of the bucket. If there was a hose, if there was a gap between the bucket and the uh, where the nipple is, then I don't think it's gonna work because that's gonna freeze up right there. But because they're connected to the bucket themselves and it keeps it up above 35 degrees, it keeps them from freezing. But I don't have a good solution for the rabbits yet. Um, you could use, my, my big concern is you could use like a heated water bowl for the rabbits, but you don't want the cord inside the cage. Um, you'd have to find a way to protect the cord and keep the rabbits from chewing on it because they're gonna chew on everything. You know, that's not a concern with the birds. So I've got the, the cords all, hung up so they don't get like dirt and debris and that kind of stuff in them. But as far as chewing on them, I don't have to worry about that. But if I did that in the rabbit cage, that base of the wire where it goes into the to the heated water bowl or whatever, I'd, I'd be worried about the rabbits chewing on that and, and you know, possibility of electric shock or if nonetheless, you know, the, the lease would be breaking it so it doesn't work at all. So I don't have a good solution for the rabbits, um, but this works great for the birds. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this short video, giving you a little quick, uh, you know, just rundown of this new heated watering system I'm using. There's not a lot to it. It's pretty simple. Put it in a protected area, plug it in, fill it up with water. That's it. I mean, it's because it's not cold today, they're not even heating up. So I like that about them too, that it's not a constant heat. It's a thermostat controlled. So it only comes on when it's 35 degrees or below. Um, and it just keeps it at 35 degrees. So it's a money saving. It's not gonna run just all the time for no reason. Only runs when you need it to run. It does exactly what it's supposed to do and it works. So anyway, thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, God bless.